Hey guys, happy Splasher here. Good evening. Uh, yeah, so we are finishing up Dark Tower for tonight, and we will continue streaming on Tuesday. As you can see on top here, there is a maintenance break. That will happen during our normal streaming time, so we'll have some videos that are offline, but they will be available on the YouTube. So yeah, let's uh, get right into it. So let us switch our Warlord back to our Geisha. We have also upgraded our Geisha because of the high growth. So as you can see, we have a little bit more health now. And our, well, our summon will improve with our next level. So we'll have to get some more stronger heroes. But that's okay. We'll keep going and we'll go from there. All right, so we have two attempts and we need to get four wins. And no matter what, we will be using gems in order to finish this off. So yeah, let's go. Okay, I uh, got an ogre here, silence, stones with heal, we have some attack boosts over there. Okay, alright. Uh, yeah, this is fine. We'll start with our Athena over here. The Athena will get extra summons. That'll give us a little bit of protection and a little bit more attackers on the board. It's also good we're starting first, so we'll have a tactical advantage going in. Our next round here looks like it's all rares, and they're pretty weak, as some of them we did not level up. Yes. Okay, we can. So it has immunity, nothing really right here. Some of the unit here with the high health to give this some protection as well. As you can see, we are getting some damage runes on our cells because of the attacks. So we'll want to deal as much damage as we can to destroy this before the rest of our setup gets uh, gets blocked. Yeah. Okay, so we do get the attack boost whenever one of our summons are destroyed over here. Uh, can we give this an attack boost? We cannot. Mm, we could. Let's see. Damage, damage, damage. Okay, we'll summon a ranged hero to get rid of this. Okay, we will kill, and then we will also see those damage runes, and then finally the summons coming off, we'll wipe those out. Okay, we got this hero here with the summon behind itself. As you saw, the large attack boost happening from the Confucius boost. Okay, order enemy appears, summons a puppet, okay. So we can get rid of this hero with this summon. It's a matter of can we get rid of other heroes as well. See the block on it, so the block actually isn't that much. Maybe archers over here, that could deal some damage. Do we want to deal damage to our own heroes is the question. Could destroy actually both of these heroes. Let me see. So 46 and then 37. So 74. Uh 74, 46. That's 120. 120 minus the 5. So not enough to destroy both of these. Okay, we'll summon our Mr. Death over here. We'll get some health back off of our kills from the Mr. Devil with the melee pet here. We also did upgrade our pet as well, so we're getting a little bit more health on the kills. Okay, we're on the next set of rares again. Okay, some extra damage over there, combat over there. We we'll destroy this using our ranged hero here. Also destroy the other ranged hero as well. It's not too bad. Yeah, we'll, we'll actually summon it behind here and give this hero some protection. And as we did summon an order, we ended up summoning a puppet as a response. Okay, we did draw the stones. So now we're going to do our vampire summon, assuming the rest of our board doesn't change. And we're on the legendaries this time, so... That's some pretty good options here with the Melia here with the poison damage. We have the 
Triton here with the Silence. We also have the Suko over here with the Evasion. But we'll do what we normally do, is do our Vampire. And then also, let's see, Combat will destroy that. Combat will destroy that. Okay, we could give some protection to uh, of this hero with the Hanako. Of those. Might actually use our destruction skill now in order to get rid of just this hero, but that might be a little too little. But we could protect this hero, so I guess it's not too bad. Combat, 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 combat. Sure. All right, we'll do our destruction skill, and then we'll follow it with the Melia. Yeah! The Melia will deal range damage to destroy that. Give some health back, which is fine. Then we have a poison damage, as you saw, and then the puppet did. It didn't. Well, it was destroyed, so as a result, the poison is no longer there. We're banking on our Melia to wipe out the rest of their heroes. have the grandma over here with the death of rat summon let's see combat 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 okay so this deals damage to all of our heroes this will be destroyed uh, i actually do want to keep this hero alive so we'll summon Summon the free folk that gives miss to a enemy at the end of the turn. So in this case, it will be the grandma over here. And then we'll continue and let our Melia deal the poison damage to the enemies and then also the poison damage to the warlord here. Okay, that is fine. Can. Oh, we can give a lot of protection over here. So we'll do our summons to also get some damage on the board. Got rid of one of the damage runes from the Confucius a couple turns before. We'll follow this up with the Yoster over here. And the Yoster will give plus health to our units. For, for every female, so that includes these witches at the... Well, for the summon for the turn. So we're just making sure that we can keep these other heroes alive because we have a pretty good setup here with the poison damage and then the miss given in case we don't destroy a hero. Okay, so this is good. Let's see here. We'll summon the Spore Loathe. I'll give this hero some protection. And then also, the Spore Loathe will be able to deal damage at the beginning of the turn to enemies, so we'll have double the damage. There's the one set of damage and then the other set of damage off of the Yoster here. Poison... still not enough to destroy that, but we will be able to give this a miss. We'll follow it up with the... At this point, we do want to go for the attack. So we'll summon the, actually, hmm, no, we'll, we'll play it just a little more safe. We can also get rid of the damage rune over there. We did trigger the mental shield given to the warlord from the Angelia. And that is okay. Right now we have a pretty clean board. We have the totem that is blocking the top lane. And then we also have the Yoster giving a health boost to our heroes. And also see the damage. And then we also have the miss. So at this point now we'll just go for damage. Summoning this ranged hero here that summons the plant. And we're just guarding this bottom lane so that we will have the final piece of the board locked up. Yeah. Okay, we'll put another attacker on the board. In this case now, it will be the... Yeah, we can go for damage. Damage is fine. Was going to go to the chair more to give us some health back, but at this point we have so much of a buffer that we don't need it. Rather just put them on a one or two, two turn clock for damage. And at this point now our board is unbreakable. Yeah! 
Ooh, okay. Some threats over here with the King Scrap, but we do have damage out in play. Let's see, 6 and 21. Well, that's only 18, I'm sorry. Can we give this an attack boost? Hmm. That actually might be enough for Lethal right there. We will give this an attack boost so it can actually summon another planty. Okay, so that'll be 10 damage, and then the planty will be 30, or roughly 30. We'll do our sun deaths, and then we'll also do our melee summon. Oh, that'll be enough right there. Okay, so even though the attack was stolen from our heroes because of the scrap, the in-game boost allowed us to get some extra attack and then allowed us to attack there for lethal. Okay, all right, let's keep going. Okay, looks like Alko also did upgrade their warlord as well. Lady pet here with the plus health. Have a ghost here that deals damage. We have our own ghost in, which deals roughly the same amount of damage as well. So I suppose we could actually draw both of them. Sure, why not? <laughs> Alright, so we'll place our own ghost over here. <laughs> I should have looked at the other heroes that we did have, but I didn't think the Ariok, the one that has invulnerability, would be enough to stop this. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so, well, we have our own Ghosta. Uh, it's a matter of us potentially losing a hero over here. Whew. Do we end up losing our hero? That's a question. We'll do our summon. Okay, that's not good. Really wanted to have it come in here so that we could actually block the damage. Uh, in this case, let's see, what can we do here? Oh, we can, well, we can deal some pierce damage. I guess that'd be all right. Okay, and we end up, do, we do end up losing our ghosta, so that is not good. At least we did wound their ghosta so that we can actually get rid of it for next turn. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get rid of the Ghosta. We are running low on health because they did go first off on the attack. Let's see here. Best we can do is block. So we'll summon the melee hero. And most likely it will be silenced anyways. We summoned it, the melee hero because of the high health. So even if the silence does occur, we will still have enough health to take at least one attack. Whoa! All right, let's see here. Combat, combat. Okay, the death runes that did occur from the TNT over here are blocking our some of our spots. So, best we can do here, we'll do our Dominus Summon to get some health back off of the kill and then also deal some damage to the TNT. Okay, they did the silence, which is to be expected. We'll probably summon another hero in order to get rid of this, which they do. Okay, it has decent stats. We'll summon our hero here with the flight and the reborn. But we knew we do need to get rid of the TNT as we have a lot of our board now being blocked by the death runes here. Okay, and this might actually be it, just because of the Madame Lutrix with the puppets. We are slowly going to get our board locked up, and then also we have to worry about the reflect damage that is occurring. Could destroy those, could be those. Uh, this is not too bad. Summon the Storm Rage on one of these death rooms. Or at least get rid of the um, the Madame Lotrix over there. Okay, another strong hero on the field. K 
Okay, and at this point, we don't have enough damage to stop any more of these. We'll do our summons to get rid of some of these death runes and potentially have attackers. Okay, this hero does get health whenever one of our heroes are destroyed, so that is why this is now out of range for lethal. Uh, yeah, we'll summon our melee hero here with the flight and then the metal shield. At least getting rid of this hero for now. We are low on health once again. Let's see. Combat will destroy this, but then we'll take 315 to all of our heroes. That's not ideal. We could go for blockers. Might be something. But either way, we're going to be taking lethal pretty soon. And yeah, we can do is transform. That would be fine. We'll do our Madame Agony summon. Transforms the wounded enemies into these crystals. At least be able to stop the damage over here. This hero will deal extra damage to our warlord whenever we are attacked. So that's why we need to block this one as opposed to this hero here. Woo! Okay, we're now on the legendaries too. All right, and we don't we don't have enough to block both of these, so we'll have to call that a loss. It doesn't help that they got more advantage off of the ghostas that they had versus the ghostas that we ended up summoning. So let us keep going now. Facing a Jimmy with more health. Also starting first and also has this sentry pet that has the attack boost. Okay, that is not ideal. They have the High Tinker over here with the damage to nature heroes and then also the mini Tesla X that will deal damage when a hero is destroyed. We could summon our own and go head to head, uh, but I'd rather summon the... Yeah, this is fine. We'll summon the Tight, uh, the Angelia over here. It deals damage to heroes that are not order, so in this case... Every hero on the on the field right now is actually order. But we need it because we can stop the melee hero here. Yeah! Okay, we're also getting mental shield, so that will help us a little bit. This hero did, did land on the block runes. Can we give this some more damage? We could, possibly. For now, this is all right. We'll do some damage here. We're going to be taking damage to our heroes no matter what. Uh, I guess it's fine to get rid of some of their buildings. Although, we do need to get rid of some of their heroes, so let's do that instead. Summon the ranged hero on the health room. Take some damage, as you can see there. We also got rid of our own puppet, but we ended up getting rid of the melee hero over here. So if we can keep the Angelia alive, we can keep our own health. Okay, so as these buildings here are ordered, they will not take the damage from the Angelia. And so the three random heroes will be this one, this one, and this one. So we will destroy that. It's a matter of can we destroy other things as well? We could summon this hero here with the high health. The, uh, the issue is that we could potentially miss on our damage, but I guess it's the risk we'll have to take. So we'll summon over here with the... Yeah, oh, we also have to worry about the Rocker Boys with the Splash. So we don't want to put too many of our heroes close together if we can. So let's see here. Let's see how much damage we got to this south there. We'll summon the building, actually. Summon the building over here. That way we can actually guarantee the damage happening to the non-order heroes. And then we also have some high health over here. This will heal a order ally on our side to full health. That'll help us out over there. Okay, stopping some of the damage. That's good. 
Okay, we have some more heroes over here. Will some of the Justia behind the building? Yeah. Okay, the Justia will give an attack boost. Or attack boost over here to heroes. So that's good. Okay, so our main issue now is the Storm Rage here that is dealing damage to our heroes when it dies. Okay, so now at this point we will get rid of these heroes. Though we still want to avoid taking damage to the uh, because of the Rocker Boys, so let's see here. So this hero here gives miss to one of our heroes for turn. In this case it is not this one, but... The Angelia, which in this case won't be dealing the damage. Could do a summon to actually deal damage to this because of the block runes. Yeah, I don't actually here, we can place an order hero over here. Let's see. No, actually we'll do this instead. Right, so the Justia will oh. Okay, not enough damage to destroy that. Because it's also on a block rune as well. Okay, this is fine. We will look to guard our board. Need to wound this hero. Okay, we are going to take some poison damage. And that is a lot of poison damage. Okay. So, let's see here. The extra damage will still potentially hit those, so that's good. Dwarf Vampire Summon to wound these heroes. And then also, we will give some protection with our other heroes. Yeah, the Strick over here will deal extra damage for every hero that is on the field. Okay. Wipe out some heroes over here. Next turn, we will use our destruction skill to get rid of the rest of the board. Also, we do want to focus on summoning more order heroes if we can, so that we don't deal damage to our own heroes. We have the Justia giving miss to the Rocker Boy over here. And I guess it's trying to see what there it says the second Rocker Boy triggers a miss as well. So in this case, it's the Sharp Fin. Okay, so we did finally lose our Angelia. That is okay. We did prepare for this turn, so we'll do our destruction to get rid of the boss and the other heroes over here. The extra damage from the Strick will get rid of the Rocker Boys. And now we just need to be concerned about this building that gives extra attack. We will arrange summons, which will deal some extra damage. And also seeing if we want to go for more damage here. Combat, combat. Yeah, we'll give this hero some protection. We'll summon the melee hero here with the mental shield. I right, see the damage over there, destroy those. And then the extra damage from the summons destroyed the building here. Okay, so they did their final damage skill, which is setting the attack of all ranged heroes. But all, yeah, okay, ranged heroes and buildings, 2-1. Probably should have given the, the Justia some protection. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow. Look at that perfect poison damage that hit both the Justia and the Strick. Okay, uh, we can get around that. We have our York here that will summon for damage to destroy this, and then also get some attack boosts. And now we are threatening lethal on both lanes. And there we go. So some pretty messed up RNG during, the, during that last turn, but uh, we did get the battle through. Legendary. Nice. Need some more dark for the rest of our squad. Our dark, once we can reborn her, we can give some extra health back to our heroes. And then also create a different type of squad in League. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Okay, looks like we're starting first. 
take a look at their pets. I already know they have high health and I can see extra damage for the male kills, so that's gonna be a lot. We'll need to hold on to the board first. So we will summon, summon the hero here with the high health. We'll get rid of the building as well. And we're summoning it in C2 over here, so that way we can give some extra protection if needed. Okay. So as they have done the healing skill already, as they normally do for the first turns, we will not be going for damage to the Warlord. And again, that is why we attack the building instead of the Warlord. Okay, we have the hero here that hits the extra block and then also reflex damage. We deal some damage to their heroes this way with our building. Although I wish that we actually put in the levels for this high growth. Now, we were in a high growth spot where... The next level we need is 115 levels, and we don't have enough gold for that. So we'll have to make do. So let's see, combat will actually deal damage over there. Uh, we have to prepare for a long battle because of the high health. So we're gonna protect our building and also place it over here. And we're depending upon our building and our high health heroes to gain advantage for us. Okay, so let's see. We are running low on health. We are also threatened lethal here. And then we also have the hero that had a large attack boost for every... Okay. Oh, because of the drone pet. All right, so we'll do our summon. That is fine. Ideally, we would like it down here, but blocking this lane is good too. Uh, we'll do our destruction skill. Then we'll follow up with the ranged hero to destroy this here. We're going to be placing it on the blank cell over here, so that way if they do do a death rune or any other type of disruption, we can keep it away. And then we can have this cell here free for a summon. So they did the silence skill now, which is good. We had to draw that out. Okay, we got the hero here that silences enemies in line except nature. Anything to destroy that? We do... Well, we could also do this here as well. This, that doesn't get silenced. Let's see, combat, combat, in the line. So let me do the math here. So that puts it at one. Oh boy, I can't even do the math right now. <laughs> it's 166 that we need to deal. Yeah, 166. So we do have actually the damage over here. Let me see this one. Actually gets kills equal to the 50%. This will get silenced though. Uh, this one's actually not too bad. So we won't get the direct kill right here, but we will have the protection for our heroes. Next turn it will be destroyed, but at least now we have the Shimuno over here with some protection from the hero here with the metal shield. Okay, we have the Charon, which turns into Cenotaph, that will give Metal Shield to this hero, so that is unfortunate. Uh... Let's see. Hmm, this might actually not be bad. So this hero over here, and this actually frees... Oh, okay, it freezes everything in some buildings, so in this case, not the uh, Cenotaph over here. But we summon the hero here to open up this spot so that the shard can now spawn here. But that won't matter now because of the... Oh, it's... Nope. Okay. We took the extra damage off of the Drogon pet here. Uh, so that's fine. We took a lot of damage and uh, couldn't really get through there. Okay, well, now this is where we start using our gems. Let me go back to the Fable area. Because there is still this other this other set of quests here, so we have the desired wealth. So if we spend another 800 or 700 gems, we'll get three more legendary chests, which only give us this many legendaries, which will 
not be enough. So in this case, we'll just keep spending until we get our, our battle through. So yes, we will. We will spend the 50 gems. And let's keep going. Okay, so they are starting first. Ooh, this will be a good time to actually try out the Grimmery Nightchild here. I wonder if the curse counts on the buildings. Eh, we're about to find out. So we'll summon the Grimmery Knight Child on the top here so that we can take advantage of the curse. Okay, the curse does land on the building, so that's good. Okay, and then is there Warlord destroyed? No, not the Warlord destroyed, but is the curse happening? So because when a cursed enemy dies, it curses on the enemy Warlord. Okay. So our goal is to deal a lot of damage by curse. Still need to deal with the Sentry Pet and then also the the well the silence and everything else okay we have a high level aphrodite here that has the extra damage Put that over there sure why not all right we'll do our summon and then we will also summon this hero to deal let's see combat over there destroy the building do some curses over there. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's uh, let's curse some curse some mirrors. Okay, so now there is a curse on the warlord, as you see here. So they have a curse of eighty-eight. Hmm. I've never used this new hero before, so this is going to be delightful to see, especially since I leveled up her for the first time during this high growth. So you can see the first of 44 on the Warlord. All right, we'll use our destruction skill to get rid of the Aphrodite, which it does have a curse on it as well. Okay, so we put another curse on the Warlord. So that's 132. We'll have some more curses over here, but then this will also be our last curse, most likely because of the silent skill still available. Uh, this hero here that can give negative attack. And then this hero will be cursed as well. That's probably better for us to send out an attacker. This one is fine to summon the building over here and keep our rune still alive. Okay, and we'll see how this curse actually does work out. Because there's no way for them to remove curse off of their warlord, from what I understand. So that's good. Uh, let's see. Could get rid of this hero here. Could actually potentially get rid of both heroes. Let's see here. So we have the extra damage that could come from the ready. Could just get rid of this and actually just deal damage altogether. We still have a blocker over here, so that's good. We can go for extra summons instead. That'll probably be the safer route. Yeah, we'll do the safer route. So we'll get the curses first. We'll attack the cursed hero, which deals damage over here. And then also we'll inflict another curse onto the warlord. So in this case, now they're taking a 176 curse. Yeah, I assume there won't be any more curses inflicted, not just because of the attack, but also here if the curse enemy does die. Okay, let me see the health of this here. So this has health of 37. This hero here has the damage here that deals damage to a wounded. Could potentially destroy this. We'll do our summon and hopefully can actually destroy both. Let's see here. And yeah, we'll do some boosts. We also need it for our hunt as well. So not quite enough. Not quite enough either. All right, well, we'll do our summon like we were trying to do. Okay, 
So we did do the, the rest of the curses over there. And oh, the curses are now gone. Wow. Huh. So I guess the curses were only active when this hero did not have silence. So that is unfortunate. Thought they were going to be cursed regardless if the hero was not uh, silenced. Yeah! Let us see here. We have the evil Santa, and then we also have this hero here that gives uh, negative attack. We'll get rid of both of these heroes with the lair over here. Yeah. So we'll set the health of these heroes to five. We'll have combat over here. Oh, okay. So that's how the curse is happening. So the curse 16, so the curse on the warlord there, it says they will take damage when their allies are attacked. Okay, so in this case now, because even though these buildings are not cursed, they will take extra damage whenever a hero is attacked. <laughs> so then the question is, why did the other curse disappear when I destroyed the hero? Oh, well. All right, well, we'll do our summons. We have to get through this Alexandria here that removes the negative skills. Okay, we'll also guard this line over here. Okay, so we just gotta get through these heroes. We're not going for lethal quite yet, as we do need to get rid of these heroes and then also get back to board. Okay, we do have mental shield on our heroes. And so that also keeps our summons alive for another turn. Normally they do die at the beginning of the turn, but with the mental shield, they will still be around. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there goes our Blair. <laughs> All right. What can we do here? Let's see. So we'll have combat over here. Still have enough to destroy those. Let's see what we can do here with our Shaolin. Combat over here. Attack steel over there. Oh, this is fine. We will summon our. Okay, we're gonna summon our scrap to destroy this hero. A little bit of attack steel, which is fine. And we summon it over here in B2, so that way we have some options if we want to keep the attack steal skill alive, or if we want to use this as an attacker. Yeah. Okay, that is not what we wanted to see. This Aphrodite here has high health, so... We'll be able to get rid of both of these heroes here. Combat over there, combat over there. Well, hopefully we can actually give some miss because we don't have any other real options here. Yeah. Okay, so we finally got rid of the stones. And the issue now is the large attacker and then also the extra damage off of the Aphrodite. Okay, well, and we're pretty much dead now. So we had something going until, for some reason, our curse was removed. And I guess it was because we destroyed our own cursed hero. So, or the cursed, it was the cursed panda. Which, again, I didn't know about that dynamic. But, okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's keep going. Gotta spend some more gems, gotta keep going. Okay, so they have a Jimmy with the Rocker Boys and also the Block Runes. Also the Sentry Pet here, excuse me, with the extra damage. Let's see what we can do here. Let's take a look at their buildings. So they have the extra damage and then they also have the attack room. We'll start with our work down here, get some early damage out. Also wipe out one of the buildings. We want to hold the bottom line first, so that way we don't get run over by the potential ghost that could come out or the legion that can triple attack once the rocker boys come out. Okay, we got the monkey king over here with the block, the block rune, also the extra block. 
So the combat will eventually destroy this, but then the reflect damage off of the attack will keep it alive. So there's no point in actually trying to give this protection because the first attack will actually trigger off of the damage. So in this case, we'll summon a hero to get rid of the building over there. Summon it here in the, in the A2. See the 227. Okay, and I guess how the order of the skill went. So attack and then the damage and then it didn't allow for the reborn. So, okay, that is fine. Okay, let's see if we can give this hero some protection as it is our primary attacker. Come over there, We've got the building here that deals extra damage at the end of the turn. Okay, so we can give extra attack boost as you can see already over there. We'll summon this just for damage. And we did get the extra attack, as you can see here, from the symbol. So that's good. Alright, they did do the Rocker Boys. Alright, they are in the bottom lane, so it looks like these will probably get wiped out here with the combat plus the splash damage. And then the regular combat over here. Okay. Uh, we'll do our summon. We also have our Strick here that can deal damage to heroes. Uh, yeah, okay. So the Strick, we'll place it on the top here. It will actually deal uh, splash damage to these heroes over here. Whoa! So we'll destroy the Rocker Boys over here. And then the Vampire damage at the end of the turn. Destroyed the bush over here and also wounded this hero. So now we need to deal damage to this hero here. Has block as well. We can give it one more turn, although we are running low on health already. So if we do ranged block over there, could do the metal shield, could break that. Some of the flight hero over here to block the melee hero. Okay, and then we just want to wound this because it does have that block rune. So in that case, we have the extra damage over here. So how much damage are we dealing? We're doing 66. So we could actually destroy this next turn. Okay, well, we have another flight here that we have to be concerned about. Again, also with the block. Combat over there, combat over there. Oh, we still need to block, which is unfortunate. Let's see here. Kama will destroy that. All right, we'll do our destruction to actually get rid of the high attacker. Let's see. Kama over there. Okay, well, so we won't be able to destroy this in combat. So might as well just go for damage instead. They could do their set health to one, which we don't need. Summon our... Some more extra attack hero, actually. And we will try to race for lethal. We summon the melee hero so that we can kind of nullify this skill here. And instead they go for a big melee hero. Okay. Got it. Well, we're going to keep going with our melee heroes as well. See, we have combat over there. We'll do our summons. Okay, and let's see if we have combat over there. Combat over there. Could block, could do damage. The attack boost given for the Strick is actually enough, 54. So that puts it at 166. It's not quite enough to destroy that, but we will have enough combat to destroy this. Uh, assuming we don't have our stuff wiped out here. Can we go for lethal? One, ninety, two. Nope, we're short. We are short either way. <laughs> All right, we'll 
we got some health back off of the damage dealt by this melee hero. And we actually had enough damage to destroy this melee hero too. Okay, yeah, this is the best case scenario. Wiped out all their board, got some health back, and then also have every lane open. And we're able to summon a melee hero too, so that way we don't get affected by the final skill of the Warlord. Alright. Pretty tough one over there. Legendary. Cool, got some more Kong. Alright, and uh yeah, let's uh let's keep going. Okay, I usually lose to get work up. As you can see the high health, and they are starting first, and they also have a decent pet here. Yeah, some some attack boost. So it's not really the pet that we're concerned about right now. It's about the especially high high damage heroes. Interesting. Why would they summon a why would they summon a storm rage over there? That's so weird. Okay, since we know this is going to be a long battle, we are going to focus on defense. We'll summon our Shimuna on the attack rune over here, so that way we can get the most amount of shards coming out. And those shards, they do count as blockers, so that'll help us out a little bit for now. Their first skill for Ogre isn't even relevant at this point, it just means that we can't go for... for uh, Lethal damage, but since they already have high health anyways, it's not like we're going to, to try. <laughs> okay, so we have this hero that freezes two of our heroes. In this case, it's the Shimuno over here. Uh, let's see, we don't have enough to deal combat over here. Good block, I guess. That wouldn't be so bad. Thinking if we are going to have enough damage to... Well, let's see. Probably going to use our destruction skill. Excuse me. Probably going to use our destruction skill to get rid of these heroes. So, we'll summon on the health rune, so at least we can take some. We can block some damage over here. So we also have to play around the silence as well, so that means that we need some extra damage. Or extra health, rather. Uh, let's see, so combat over there. Damage over there. Okay, wounding this hero won't make any sense. Destroying this hero won't make any sense either. But it actually depends where, where it shows up, so let's do our summon. Okay, that's not what we want to do because now we end up losing all of these heroes. So because of that, we won't do our destruction skill. We'll leave the spot open and then we will continue on with our... Let's see, will extra attack help us at the end? I suppose so, yeah. It would be something that they could end up silencing. So let's do that. Summon our building over... Oh, let's see if we freeze them... Yeah, this is actually going to be... This is this is the long-term play. So you can see we did do some more wounding. We didn't use our destruction quite yet, as we still have our board very vulnerable. But they did do their silence, so that's, that's good, at least for us in terms of planning. We got the maximum amount of shards available. Ideally, we would want to have the vampire spawn up here, so that way we could actually... Uh, ignore all the other heroes, but this is fine. So yeah. combat will destroy that, combat will destroy that. Okay, we don't have anything to destroy those quite yet. How much poison damage do we do? Deal 21. Ooh, pretty good. So that'll actually destroy this. Okay, that is a very long-term play over there. So we will do our... Yeah, we'll do our Poison Floss over here. This hero does have that Metal Shield and the counterattack, but we got rid of the Metal Shield first. 
got the poison to get rid of that Strick, or sorry, the Storm Rage. And all these heroes are now wounded as well. Uh, just thinking of when we will use our destruction. Because of that Shumuna, we do have the extra protection so that we can have our Floss set up. take some poison damage to our heroes because of the poison for enemies in the line. Okay, got it. So let us see what we can do. We have damage to a chaos enemy. We have freeze enemies in the line. Could actually get rid of this hero now, especially when it deals extra damage to our warlord. But not enough. So how much is this attack room here? So 13. So that's actually enough to destroy that. So that's good. Got our poison over here. We have... Decent amount of pierce. Yeah, we'll get rid of this hero first. We'll also get some health back off of our melee kill. So we open up back the shield. Got the damage going in. Got that poison damage that's going to stack on, and that should be enough to destroy the Anzo over here. And see, we are getting a health boost because of poison floss getting health at the end, and then we have these... Ogre plants that give plus health to allies around whenever poison does trigger. A couple of our heroes do have extra attack. You can kind of see the icons over here. And we also have extra attack on our poison floss, so that means more poison damage. Okay, so they have the Madame Lotrix here with the extra puppets that will reflect the damage. See, so we'll have don't have enough to deal damage to these, but we can wound these. Summon our storm rage here to destroy these heroes. Also going to see if we can give this an attack boost. So we'll spend some dust. Okay, and that's a little more dust than we need, but that's fine. We want to guarantee that we don't take lethal in some way, so we'll spend some dust. Give this an attack boost so that we'll get some health back. Summon the Storm Rage here to block and block this lane and then also get some health back off the melee kill. Okay, so we did deal some damage to that Lotrix, so that's good. You also see the poison getting removed because of the puppets being destroyed at the beginning of the turn from the uh, Lotrix here. Yeah! <laughs> We destroyed those, so that's good. Okay, and now we can actually destroy the Lotrix in combat. We can destroy the Puppet in combat. We'll take the Reflect damage over here. Uh, this hero here heals all of our allies at the end of the turn, so that'll help us out a lot. We'll place it over... Also gets an attack boost as well for every hero here. I'm just concerned that a scrap will end up ruining us here, but just got to go for max. So we'll summon the engineer. One, two, three, four. See how much attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 30. Oh, well, that's yeah, 63. That's actually enough to destroy this. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Okay, so we have the damage to destroy the Lotrix. We have the damage to destroy the puppet. Okay, we have damage to destroy the flyer. And so now we just need to get rid of the puppet, and then we actually have the board back. Wow. We still haven't used our destruction skill, which is really, really nice. Okay, this is all right. We'll hold off on that. Still need to not use our destruction skill yet. We will summon our Kabas here that will have the block and then also the reflect damage to block against the Dominus over here. Also give some extra health back to our Warlord in terms of block. Okay, and yeah, you see extra health to our heroes as well. So ideally the reflect damage off of the Kavos will destroy this puppet. 
and then potentially destroy the Dominus here as well. So as you saw, the extra attacks did trigger, and so ended up destroying the Bastet over here, and then the Puppet over here. Alright, so we're at full health, so that's really nice. See if we can actually gain some more health. So this one only heals, it doesn't actually give plus health. For this hero, I know, it gives plus health to our world for every enemy, so that could help us out a little bit. Uh, we can get some full protection, actually, if we do that. Uh, yeah, this one actually will guarantee that we can get through, even though we have the, uh, the Lotrix with the puppets. We're doing this so that way we have guaranteed removal. Yeah. So as you can see, the Frost one comes into play, it freezes a random enemy, so that also includes herself. But if we do summon an older hero, we can then get rid of some other heroes. And then poison set the health, the frozen health, uh, frozen health of a, that unit to one, and then the poison from the floss destroy that here. Okay, we also get some health back as you can see, or additional health to our warlord. So thirty-two for every enemy on their side. So it includes those two over here. Okay, this poison floss is not silenced yet, so it can still attack twice. So combat will destroy that. Extra damage over here, and then the extra summon as well. Summon the melee hero over... Ooh, we can also just freeze their heroes. That'd be nice. Yeah, we'll do that. So, summon the order here. Ideally, we want to freeze this one, but that's okay. Give an attack boost to our heroes in the line. And then the poison will actually destroy this right here. Okay, great. Well, we have a totally full board. We have more than maximum health. And we haven't used our destruction skill. <laughs> wow. Okay. This is this is going much better than I thought it would. Okay, so combat over here. We don't want to use any of our skills because we have the boards full. We can skip the turn. Gotta remember to not hit the surrender button. Okay. So combat still through there. Combat and destroy those. And, uh, huh. What is going on? <laughs> this is a not so battle. Wow. Okay, well, they're doing sudden deaths now at this point. We're getting some health back off of the Chernomore attack over here. Do we have enough for lethal? 160, 200. 30, we can't summon any more heroes over here. So we'll just skip the turn again. Uh, the turn war still won't be able to break through unless they have something to destroy the Eclipse Shard over here. So we just skip the turn. Nice thing too, this Kaboss is still giving block to our, our Warlord and then also <laughs> the massive amount of block over there. We're off by one. All right, well, they will gain some more health. Uh, we're still gaining some more health as well. So they'll gain, let's see, they'll gain roughly 400 because of the extra attack as well. Uh, nice. <laughs> what an amazing battle. That was crazy. Okay, well, we we uh, we got uh, we got through workup. Can't believe it. All right. Legendary. Nice, more floss. Okay, cool. So that was Dark Tower over there. And then also, as you saw, that quest did complete with the Spend Soul Dust, which means that we are now done with the hunt for the Legendary. Hylos. So we got the Legendary. last souls. We get the bonus souls off of the completing all 10 of those quests. Legendary. Okay, and that is that. So... Thank you all. Uh, we will not be streaming tomorrow. As you can see, the maintenance is still going to happen. So we'll have this video up and then we'll have some more streaming on Tuesday. So thank you guys. Uh, 
See you guys on Tuesday. This is Happy Splasher. Signing off.